hi hi uh, so welcome to our video tutorial so in this video tutorial we are going to see how to lock and unlock or how to make a file read only and how to remove that read only attributes in our uh, text file using java code so let's continue in our uh, previous file so here what we are going to do is we are going to add two buttons here let's minimize this text box and let's move a button here so delete button here let's add two buttons one is for locking and the other is for unlocking so let's make this btn lock file btn unlock file locking and unlocking means making the file read only and writable and this one unlock file okay so to lock a file let's go for its mouse click event It's a very simple attribute uh, tweaking logic. So let's copy this file object. First of all, we have to know which file to manage, which file to lock. Then let's check if that file exists. So if file that exists equal to true, then what I'm going to do is file dot set read only function see set read only it returns boolean what it does is marks the file or directory named by this abstract path name so that only read operations are allowed after invoking this method the file or directory will not change until it is either deleted or marked to allow write access so this function will make my file read only or will lock it so that nobody will change this file again unless they uh, change the read only attributes so i'm going to use this and i'm going to store the result the return of this function in result and i have to check the result if the result is true then file is successfully being locked else i have to say this so let's use this code here and here we'll change the, the location we'll change the message else this so here file locked successfully here file cannot be locked check permissions or anything here file does not exist okay so since we are working on files we need try catch it's better to have a try catch statement just to make sure that our file our uh, Code doesn't simply broke okay so this is our code we have uh, created a file object if it exists set read only if it's all successfully set then file locked can't be locked and if the file doesn't exist file doesn't exist in the catch block we can reuse one of the messages here and we couldn't lock the file please check permissions or anything else now we can test our code let's run our project okay so there is no file here so let's give it a folder and make up 
a file name sample.txt so create that file file being created file is created there you go now let's write something to it sample content and write to file content is written successfully so this is our file it's now 1kb we can open our file and see this is our file now I'm going to lock this file file locked successfully after the file has been locked can I change another content to a file write to file see we couldn't write the content to the specified file because it's locked because Java can't write the given content to the file because the file is locked or the file is being marked as read only okay so this is how to implement locking or how to make the code read only the file read only now let's see the unlocking code mouse click i think we can use the locking code except for a few lines so after creating to unlock after creating the file file dot not set read only rather set writable okay set writable true now file unlocked successfully file cannot be unlocked file could not be unlocked okay so here what we does is we set uh, its writable property to true and after that we don't need to check the result rather i can check file dots we have another property can write if the can write property returns true which means the file is unlocked i can write to that file okay now let's try our application one more time let's test the unlocking feature now let's take the folder location here and file name is sample.txt read from file this is the file we have right now so if i want to change another content and write to a file we couldn't write because the file is locked now unlock the file file unlocked successfully now if i click write to a file content is written successfully now if we clear this and click read from file the content is being read being read from our text so which means we have successfully implemented locking and unlocking a file or making the file read only and removing the read only attribute so this is why this is how to uh, implement or how to manage the read only property of a file using java so by this we have uh, completed our uh, file management features uh, so until now we are uh, implementing this in a simple file so next uh, what we are going to see is we are going to search for a file in a specified folder search for a file with a specific name or a specific type like search the txt files in this folder search excel files in this folder search pdf files in this folder so all that kind of stuff we'll see uh, how to implement that in the next video thank you for watching our video uh, and also if you have any questions comments or suggestions of any kind uh, specific to this video or to our entire uh, channel uh, please don't hesitate to put your comment in the comment section below and thank you very much in advance.